At times, college life can be all-consuming, but nursing students at the James Cancer Hospital have to worry about not only their grades, but also the lives of their patients. Oh, I wholeheartedly believe that it does take a very special person to be an oncology nurse. You have to be able to be very professional and do your job very well. You also have to be able to become attached to your patients and families, get personally involved with them, knowing full well that some of them are going to get better and some of them aren't. We have about 300 nurses at the James. On any unit, we can have up to 10 students. It can be very dynamic. Um, the students can work together uh, with the nurses, with their faculty, with their staff, so it's fast-paced. Being a student is time-consuming because <laughs> you have to go to work, but then you have to go home and study. For our undergraduate students, like Abby, they do the assessments, do the medication, plan goals with patients, they interact with the physicians if there's changes in patient condition. Usually we are pretty busy in the morning, mornings fly by. Being a student nurse, whether in the James or in the rest of the medical center, gives those students the opportunity to try out a little bit of everything. Well, the goal with the internship at the James is to work as a nurse practitioner in oncology. Work through the day, basically exactly as the nurse would. You're using everything hands-on, which really helps reinforce everything, rather than just reading the books, taking a test, and graduating. Preparing a lot of the day with that kind Exactly. Some of the challenges I face are that I'm a man in nursing. This is a field that's predominantly female. Ohio State has actually been recognized as one of the best colleges for men to go to for nursing. The James certainly is one of the most prestigious cancer hospitals in the country, designated as a comprehensive cancer center by the National Cancer Institute. So we have pretty high expectations of the students, and they are out there taking care of patients. Our students have to be prepared to really hit the ground running when they get to the clinical environment. They start out as sophomores in the program and they progress to their senior year having clinicals every quarter. So that's the focus to implement the skills that they've learned in their classes. Nurses are integral in delivering that personalized care. Hi Corey, I'm here to do your afternoon assessment. Patients are here for weeks, and so you do really get to know them. Their families are here. You get to know their friends and family. Sometimes they're caring for patients who are very, very, very ill. That could be my mom there. That could be my brother. I've had the experience of working with these patients, and I see what they go through, and I really would like to help them manage their cancer and feel good about themselves and feel like they can overcome this. Really staying focused on what can we do to make the patient more comfortable. We try to teach our students that that's important and there's nothing wrong with becoming personally attached to your patient. That's what I really enjoy about this place is getting to know the patients on that personal level but still keeping it professional and I'm here to do my job and to take care of you. You're going to cry sometimes but that's okay. That's part of what makes you a good nurse. I'm just going to be pressing up on your lungs and pressing on your, mm -hmm. your stomach too. I can't hear anything without any kind of assistance. I have two cochlear implants, and what that does is stimulates the nerves inside the cochlea and allows me to hear, so that bypasses all the damaged nerves that I have, and uh, that just really opened up the spectrum of what I can do. Our OSU nursing students get the best of both worlds because they have right here on campus the James Cancer Hospital along with the Ohio State University Medical Center. They progress to basically their last quarter, they're functioning as a nurse on the unit with a patient load. In order to be successful as a nurse working in an academic medical center environment, you absolutely have to be at the top of your game. I know I have certain expectations to meet, so I really don't like to take um, too much credit for being able to cope with my hearing impairment because I, I feel like that's something that I should just be expected to do. You will continue to see into the future more and more personalized care, and so I think that um, it's an exciting time to be an oncology nurse. It's an exciting time to be at the James and at OSU because I think we're going to lead those discoveries. When we return, scientists fight cancer with tomatoes.